appreciate that, but I, I do want you to back up and, and tell us again about that punching a time card versus starting, a, was it a time watch? Say, say that again for us. Yes, going from the punch card to the stopwatch. So you got people who work, you got a difference between working on a sundial or working with a stopwatch. So people will do a task and because they get paid hourly, you know, they'll, they'll get it done and they'll get it done within the time frame it's specified, but they won't do any more than that. But then you look at the entrepreneur or the employee who owns their job like an entrepreneur and they run their life on a stopwatch. They get things done because they need to get done. So when they're given the assignment, it's time to go. And they get it done with a matter of perfection and excellence that is second to none. True difference, same task done in two polar opposite ways. I love that. And I appreciate the fact that you, you don't not only talk about the entrepreneur, but the employee that acts like an entrepreneur. So one of my friends and mentors names is Max Story. He's uh, the author of the Blue Collar Leadership Series. And he tells everyone that you have a customer, you are your own owner of your business, regardless of where you work, what you're doing, because, you know, I work for my boss and he pays me for what I do. So he's my customer, right? That's and right. if you look at it that way and, and you want to please people and uh, you want to uh, have them better understand how what it costs to do business and, 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 and that there's a payback and there's a payoff. And, and it's not just a matter of, of punching a time clock and, and making my H, you know, you hear that sometimes. So it's a situation where we need to recognize people are exchanging goods and services for talent. 